Tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, my latest documentary will premiere. It's called State of Hate, The Explosion of White Supremacy. In it, I take a deep dive into racial, ethnic, and religious hate and look at how and why it is rearing its ugly head again. We've seen it in Pittsburgh and Charlottesville and Charleston. Where is that hatred coming from? What is happening in the minds of those who long for an all-white version of America? Well, you're about to meet Jared Taylor, who holds many of the answers. He's a leader of America's new brand of white nationalists. Taylor doesn't want to kill or hurt members of other races, but nor does he want to live beside them. So having essentially given up on limiting the flow of people of color into America, Taylor now wants to create a section of America that only whites can live in. Some of what you're about to hear may disturb you. Some of you may be angry that we have given this man any airtime. But I have always held the belief that you need to listen to all views, even those you find offensive, perhaps especially those you find offensive. White nationalism is on the rise, and Taylor and his followers will not go away just because you ignore them. Tell me, what is your basic objective? You know, if you think about this philosophically, what are you trying to do? I consider myself a white advocate. That is to say, I speak up for the legitimate interests of white people. Every other racial group has organizations, lobbies, even congressional caucuses that look out for their interests, but only whites are not considered a legitimate group from those purposes. And, for, and yeah. for your, to your mind, what, I, what are those interests? What, are, what is your objective? If you, could, if you could achieve it, what would it look like? Well, one of our objectives, of course, is to end uh, racial discrimination against whites in the form of affirmative action. That's obviously in our interests. Another is to slow or stop or perhaps even reverse the dispossession of whites as a majority in this country. The idea that we're supposed to be celebrating diversity means only that whites are to celebrate their dwindling numbers and declining influence. I don't think any healthy people wants to become a minority in its own country, especially for those of us who are living here in the nation that was built by our ancestors. Why should we wish to become a minority? What, who are whites? Whites are the people whose ancestors were living in Europe about 500 years ago. And most of the time we have no difficulty distinguishing whites from other people. I think the idea that race is somehow a sociological optical illusion is some kind of modern fad and it's not based in biology, it's based in wishful thinking. Well, well let me ask you about that because it, most of these racial categories come out of the 19th century, many of them with uh, Germany, German scholarship. And um, the original term used, as you know, was Caucasian. Yes. Um, now, I, I think scholars would agree, I have as good a claim on being Caucasian as you do. Caucasian meant people who come out of Central Asia, out of the Caucasus. In fact, the term Aryan, which is another one that is often used, yes. comes specifically out of India, which is where I grew up, and it comes out of about 2000 BC. There was an Aryan invasion, which drove the original inhabitants of India way down south. Um, so why am I not a Caucasian? By certain definitions, you might very well be a Caucasian. So I'm a Caucasian and an Aryan, but not a white, according to you. If you are advocating policies based on racial categories, I just want to understand <laughs> where I fit in. I think most uh, people would not consider you white. Even though it's you don't quite style. know what white means. Oh, I know very well what white means. You don't, but I do. That was Jared Taylor. Sunday night on my special, you will hear from him, but you will also hear from those who passionately disagree with him. I'll also tell you the story of an obscure novel that holds the key to some of the worst white supremacist violence this country has ever seen. As well, I take a deep dive into the meaning of whiteness. For white supremacy to exist... We need a standard for whiteness, right? The law and the science on all of that. The special is called State of Hate, the Explosion of White Supremacy. And it airs tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern on CNN and CNN International.